Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm going to show you how to add students and instructors, maybe TAs and also collaborators to your Moodle site. So anyone you need to enroll in your Moodle site and give them access to your Moodle site, I will show you how to do that now. And then we'll go in and also look at how you can view your Moodle site from the perspective of a student. So if you are logged into your site as an instructor, how you can then switch your view so you can see and look at your site as though you were a student. Uh, and that just helps you kind of check and make sure that all your settings are right and that you're, you're kind of seeing what students will see and making sure things are set up correctly. All right, so to start, um, let's look at how you can enroll users in your Moodle site. You'll want to go to Settings, and then you'll have to go down to Users and Enrolled Users. Now you'll notice my Settings panel here is docked on the side, so it's this sort of small uh, menu off to the left-hand side that's sort of clinging to the left side of my screen. Your Settings block may actually be in the middle of your site. So depending on how your site's set up, we have this option that Settings can either be docked on the side or it can be sitting here in the middle of your site somewhere. So wherever settings is sitting, um, that's where you want to go to. And if you want to dock and undock this uh, settings thing, uh, go ahead and have a look at this icon right here. And you can see what your settings will look like when it's undocked and when it's docked. So I'll let you kind of toggle where your settings is sitting. All right, so from settings, go to users, enrolled users, and open up that enrolled users screen. From there, you're going to want to go to this button here, click enroll users. And you'll see this great little handy enroll users um, pop up here. And go ahead and search for the person you want to enroll. Now, the trick here is not to go ahead and click finish enrolling users. Um, all you have to do is hit search or enter, and you'll search for them. So sometimes people get confused and go ahead and click this finish enrolling users button too early um, without actually enrolling people. What you want to do is type the name in here and hit search or enter and look here. All right, now if I want to enroll this person as a student, it looks like I found them, and just make sure that the role that you want to assign them is the right one from this drop-down menu here, and click Enroll. If I wanted to enroll this person that I just searched for as an instructor, I'd just change this over to Instructor and hit Enroll. Um, if you end up having a teaching assistant, you can either assign them the role of instructor or teaching assistant. Both of those are perfectly appropriate. Um, and if you have someone like an instructional designer or somebody helping you out who just needs to change the look and feel of your site, you can add them as a designer. But generally, it's good to stick to student or instructor. All right. Um, and if you have participants who aren't official students at the university, but who just have that sort of participant student-like role, student is just a good role to assign them. I know we have a participant role in Moodle, um, but it's just easier to kind of manage everyone as a student. All right, so I'm going to click Enroll, and it looks like this person has been added. Great, and you can tell they've been added because this Enroll button has now disappeared. All right, I can go ahead and add other students if I want to and search for them here. Otherwise, I can close out this dialog box by clicking this X or by clicking Finish Enrolling Users. All right, so I'm not going to add anyone else right now, but you'll see now that the student that I just enrolled pops up on this screen here as an enrolled user. All right, so we're done. Again, you can do the same thing for instructors, um, TAs, anybody else who needs to collaborate on your site. You can give them different roles. Um, only people who have uh, instructor access or designer access uh, will be able to edit the site. So if you need to be an editor, make sure you give them those permissions. Okay, now let's say you're an instructor and you've enrolled some students in your site, but you want to see what your site will look at like from their perspective, from the student perspective. So when you're on the instructor uh, screen, I'm going to go back to my main, I'm using these breadcrumbs here to go back to my main Moodle site. Um, when I'm on the instructor screen, I see some different things that students wouldn't see. So this turn editing on button, and when I turn editing on, I see some of these sort of editing things. Uh, these are things that students themselves would not see. So it doesn't quite give you a great um, image of, of what your students can expect. So if you want to go ahead and kind of look through the eyes of what students will see, all you have to do is go and change your role. Um, so we're going to go, that's again, in the settings uh, menu or the settings block, depending on where that is here, uh, and click switch role to. And then you can choose student. And basically, that lets you kind of masquerade as a student. And this site will reload. Uh, you can tell that you are now viewing the site as though you were a student, because it will say here, you're logged in as yourself, but with a student role. 
Um, if at any time you want to go back to your original instructor, well, you can do that here. But now that you're logged in and masquerading as a student, you can kind of have a look at what will students see when they see this site. It looks relatively similar, um, but this is good for checking things like quizzes um, or assignments because you'll see exactly what students will see when they click on those different items rather than the instructor view for that. Okay, hopefully that gives you a good uh, little look into how to enroll people in your site. And then once students are enrolled or participants are enrolled, you can go and see what the participant students will see by switching your role to the student view and checking out what they will see from that perspective. I'm going to return to my normal role here and I'll be back as an instructor. All right, thanks for listening. Happy moodling.